Hi there. Um, this morning I received a comment on one of my videos. That was a video on um, honing compound alternatives that you might have lying around the house. Uh, this comment was from Nicholas, and uh, thanks Nicholas for that. He was saying, you know what, the compound, the, the best honing compound there is, is little known about. Everyone has it around the house, and it is the clay compound that you find on the shiny, glossy magazine pages and covers. So we've all got all those lying around. In fact, this time of year, we've got a lot of glossy things coming through the post about the uh, general election we're having here in the UK. So I'm going to be trying that. Now, I've never heard this before. Uh, he says that knife makers use it and also Japanese uh, competition planers use it uh, to get their irons really sharp. So I thought I'd give it a quick go and see how it got on. Now, one of the things which I do know is that Copier paper, printer paper, is as smooth as it is because it has china clay in it. And I was thinking that china clay is very fine, perhaps that's the abrasive which helps to take um, the edges to that next level. So I took my irons and then I rubbed them on some copier paper. And I rubbed and I rubbed and I kept rubbing and there was no sign whatsoever of any steel coming off. So the next thought was, well maybe on the actual glossy magazines, maybe there's a different type of china on there, or perhaps it's the ink on there. Maybe the ink's got some abrasive compounds in it. So again, rubbed and rubbed, and no sign whatsoever of any steel coming off. Now it may be that the abrasive is so fine you won't see what's coming off and you'd be there for hours before you could actually see any sign of it happening. So I'm not dismissing this at all, uh, but I prepared a blade exactly the same type of iron. It's an Axminster Rider iron. I've got one in this plane, same iron in this plane, same bevel angles, same secondary and tertiary angles on them. I prepared them both exactly the same in my normal way, so on uh, fine stone and then stropped on leather with honing compound. And then in the one, I took it the final step and stropped it on the, um, actually, the printed paper, glossy printed paper. And then I tried them on a few woods that I had lying around the shop at this time. Now the woods I have actually some American white wood, some pine and some Douglas fir. They're all slightly open grain so I'm not going to get completely uh, coherent shavings and that's exactly what happened when I dialed it down to taking a fine shaving. We get shavings which are they're complete but obviously you can see the individual fibers in there. Now I tried, obviously, both irons. This one's set a little bit deeper. And to be honest with you, the results I got, I couldn't tell the difference in either the shavings, uh, the thickness of the shavings that I could go down to, or in the surface finish that was left on the wood. And I ended up with on all of these samples, a lovely mirror finish. I don't know if that comes out on screen, but lovely mirror finish. What am I talking about? It's not a mirror finish, glassy finish. So I've got a glassy finish on all of those from both irons, and I cannot tell the difference. Now, that's not to dismiss the idea that um, honing on the glossy paper may make a slight improvement. Clearly, if people are using it out there, um, they obviously believe in it. So what I want to do is I want to encourage all of you that use hand planes to give this a little go, try it out yourself, and uh, get back and let me know in the comments how you get on. Because if it does make a slight improvement, then it's definitely worth knowing. And uh, anyway, I'll put it out to you. This is something to try. 
and please let me know how you get on. Now the shavings I was aiming for when I was doing this was uh, one thou, which I think is a, a reasonably thin shaving, or is a very thin shaving, and that tends to give really good glassy results. And that's what I was getting, one thou shavings, with, uh, with no problem at all. If you're trying this yourself, getting one thou shavings may mean that you have to do some work on your hand plane, because uh, Hand planes straight from the factory very rarely will be um, accurately prepared enough to get a one thou shaving. So you can find other videos of mine that will show you exactly how you can do that. But please give this a go. Let me know how you get on. Cheerio.